I was originally a painter and I found photography to be a little bit more immediate. I decided that I wanted to kind of play against the romanticism of Edward Curtis's photographs and how he was romanticizing Indians. The other thing that I try to concentrate on is about the culture and more about the traditional aspect of it too. Uh, one thing I try to incorporate within those photographs though is their clan. It started this series that I'm working on now which is dealing with the Native American stereotypes that are within the Wisconsin Dells. My tribe is the Ho-Chunk here in Wisconsin. And there are all these other tribes being represented within the symbols that these entrepreneurs were using on their businesses or within their businesses. There is one photograph of a young jingle dress dancer and she was running past me and she had a huge uh, super soaker squirt gun. And so she's standing there with it, you know, like a rifle. And, you know, I only got one image out of that. You know, she just, I said, stop. And she stopped there. I took the photograph and she ran off again. Um, so it's those things that, where the two, I guess, cultures kind of collide, are the things that really interest me. I come from a background of you must technically know uh, what you're doing before you can move on and figure it out conceptually. That's where it starts with my Photo One class is I teach them how to be excellent printers. You must have that craftsmanship uh, beforehand. Because how are you going to relay a message um, it, within your concept, you know, without being able to do it technically? So which of these do you guys find that kind of like stick out like a sore thumb that's not working with the rest of the images? You have certain students who want to be just artists. You have students who want to be teachers. They may, you know, go on and do many other things. You know, there's graphic design, there's, you know, in photography, there's so many different avenues that you can go. So what I try to do with each of those grad students is find that specific thing. And then I kind of mold it around them and help them to accomplish those goals. What's really wonderful about, you know, teaching is seeing when somebody all of a sudden just clicks. And, you know, they've been working on these things and working through different things, and all of a sudden they just like get it. And, you know, that is where it really, you know, makes me feel good inside. It's really amazing that we have three Native American um, people on our faculty within the art department. So, you know, they're taking a stand on, you know, being diverse and, you know, and hopefully it'll bring in, you know, more Native Americans, um, undergrad or grad, to our department.